हाई एवरी वन नाव वी लर्न इन एंगुलर हाउ वी कैन पास डाटा फ्रॉम चाइल्ड टू पेरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट इन वन ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी लर्न दैट हाउ वी कैन पास डाटा फ्रॉम पेरेंट टू चाइल्ड एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी विल सी इट्स अपोजिट और इट्स रिवर्स दैट मीन्स पासिंग डाटा फ्रॉम चाइल्ड टू पेरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट so for that first of all we have to make child component then we will define some data in child component that we want to pass in parent after that in parent component we have to make a function and this function we have to call from child function and as a parameter we will pass in the, their data and then we will display this data in the parent component on the ui and there we will pass this data in a two way first on the page load second one on a button click so that you can get some idea how we can pass data on the event Uh, with the help of events also and at last we'll discuss some important interview questions also this is angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for angular job project and interviews you can access this playlist from description box of this part all right so now let's move to the code and first i am creating a user component or you can say that the child component so i am putting there ng g for generate c for component and component name i am putting user here we go now after that let's call this user component in the app file in the app component so app will be the parent and user will be the child component there so keep in mind whenever we want to use child component in any of the component then we have to use its selector as a uh, tag you can see that right so in app.component.html just simply put there app user like this and secondary thing you have to import this component in the parents template uh, parents component file so just put their user component and now if you will check okay so this error is from the previous part so let's just start ng server again and this is completely working fine now let's make this text a little bit larger from app use from user.component.html let's put their h1 and putting their user component and here we go the next thing is let's define some data in the child component that you want that you want to pass in the parent so let's make a users array and let's define some name let's say anil peter bruce tony last one is sam okay now let's create one function in the parent component go to the app dot component dot ts and function name can be let's say handle users and there for now i'm making a console dot log and there in log we can say that uh, users we can print and how we will get this user from the parameter because when we will pass this one when we will call this function from child component we will pass this user and its data type is string array so same data type you can use there also string array perfect next thing is we have to pass this function to the child component so that we can call it and how we can do that go to the app.component.html create any property inside the banana braces or you can see that in the round braces let's say users get uh users and let's assign this handle users which is defined in the app.component.ts and you have to pass their dollar event because this is a special uh parameter or you can say that special uh event in angular and don't confuse it with the angular uh, with the jquery dollar okay after this let's again move to the user.component.ts and there you have to use one decorator which is output decorator this will pass this data to the parent component as well as call the parent function and let's just use okay sorry about that yeah let's uh, go to the app template file so define this get user inside the user uh, out with the output decorator and it will be the new event emitter right this is the object of this now yeah and this should be a function now let's define any 
you can say that uh, uh, life cycle method so that we can call this so on ng on init and we can say that this dot get user dot emit and there you can pass the users yep and now you will see if i just refresh even without refresh in app.component.ts we have the all of these users which we are passing from there right great now we want to uh, display these users on the app component.html file so what we can do that go to the app.component.ts and define one more property uh, you can define anything any name to this property but i would like to say users and the type of this will be string array or either undefined because by default that will be undefined then use this dot users equal to users and on this this dot users let's apply a for loop there uh, let's take a because loop for loop will actually iterate user one by one so user of users and we will track the user there and after that let's simply use h1 tag with the user and now here we go you can see that these are list of users great now what do you want you want to display this list on the button click so again go to the app uh, go to the user.component.html and define one button so there are two ways to pass this data on button click i will show you both pass data one and there is a one more button pass data two now let's simply use click event and on this click event what you need to do open the app.component.ts and copy this one and whenever you are calling the functions property from the template file you have to remove the these this keywords right so just simply call this this and remove the this uh, keywords now yeah and one more thing so from there we are passing data on ng on it so i'm just commenting it out now there is no data and if i just click over there you can see that this data is loaded because on the click of the this button we are triggering uh, this uh, get user function with the user's data now what is the second way define any name to this function maybe let's say pass data or something and call this function on the second button click click and there pass data and there we go if i just click over there still we are able to pass data the first one still we are able to pass this data and the, the board time you can see the console also that's all for this part we learned lots of things how we can pass data uh, from child to parent that can directly ask in interviews uh, how we can use the output decorator how we can use the event emitter how we can pass that on the button click on the life cycle method we learn lots of things thank you so much for watching this part if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section please like this video subscribe my channel this is my paytm and gpay donation number also thanks everyone